Hi, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's bonus video. We just finished uh, decorating and putting together our junk journal for May and I want to show you what junk journal we will be making together for June. This is very similar in construction. However, the color scheme is different, the fabric is different, and we're going to be learning a very simple cross stitch for the spine. It's still going to be a one inch spine. So I want to show you everything that you would be getting in your kit and you can click the link below to purchase this. <clears throat> All right, so let's uh, find the best way to get into this thing. Um, the cover, again, you're going to be getting all of the cardboard that you need to construct a hard cover, um, one inch spine, nine by six, and um, there's the other spine piece. So that, and then this is the fabric we'll be working with. Um, I don't, it is a vintage, well, I'm saying vintage in the loose sense of the, uh, it's an old, I don't know how old. It might only be several years old, I'm not sure. I got um, this old drape at Goodwill and I like that it kind of has wear to it. To me, it looks like it has a lot of stories behind it. And I love, I just love the upholstery of it. And so we're gonna be covering our journals in it. I don't know how well the camera's picking up the color, but it is a light, light-ish green. It has a little bit of a blue, almost undertone, but um, lightish green, green yellow color. And so this is what we will be covering the journal in. Um, if I do run out of this, I have a uh, fabric that will be comparable or similar, um, but I have quite a bit of this. So I'm thinking that will not happen. So that is the fabric. And then this is the vintage pillowcase um, that we're gonna be using for the inside spine for reinforcement. It's very pretty. So you'll get that or one very much like that. So that will be for creating the cover. The image we're gonna be putting on the cover is this sweet image. This is a print of a painting by Kate Greenaway. She passed away in 1901, so all of her images are in the public domain. She painted wonderful children's illustrations and um, other beautiful illustrations. And I thought this matched the fabric extraordinarily well. So this will be the cover. Um, cover picture that we'll be using. And then we have our papers here. Okay. Um, I have, yeah. All right. So let me show you the end papers first. They're going to vary from journal to journal. These are the ones I'm going to be using in my journal, but you'll get end papers for covering the inside of the journal. And then um, you will be getting, it's going to be 20 pages. So four of the pages will be digital, digital printed or digital stamping um, of different of Kate Greenaway's works. You will be getting these exact ones. Everyone will have the same one. So there are these ladies having tea outside. So the, the theme of this is kind of like vintage ladies, but also a hint of nature in there. Um, here's this uh, young lady outside by a gate. Here is a couple of ladies talking outside, young girls, and then these girls blowing bubbles. And so um, this is presentation paper. It's printed there, so it, we will talk about how you can um, do other things on this space to make it look really pretty when we put it in our journals. You'll be getting two scrapbook pages. These are the ones I'll be using, but um, yours will be different. But two scrapbook pages, and then four book pages, and they'll vary, but the ones I'm gonna be using is this book page from a book called The English Park. Um, this little boy here, um, and some recipes. This is from a book, a children's book, and then this old Mother Goose book page that I'll be using and a page from a cross-stitch magazine, an old cross-stitch magazine. So that's what I'll be using, and you will have similar pages. And then there'll be 10 coffee-dyed sheets. So half of the pages will be coffee-dyed. That gives you a lot of opportunity for embellishing and journaling. So you'll get 10 coffee-dyed, and that makes a total of 20. Then you will also get a piece of this stationery that I got in some happy mail. And the stationery I think is from 2014, so it's only a few years old, but it kind of almost has a little bit of a vintage uh, soft look to it. I think it's really pretty, like a garden theme. So this um, we're not gonna be using as a page in the book. You can if you want to, but we will be um, using it for extra journaling space. And then you will be getting a printout. <laughs> 
So two embellishment um, pages. This is from my vintage wallpapers. Sorry, my boys are falling apart in the background. So these are vintage um, wallpaper scans from anywhere from 1900 to 1948, somewhere in that range. You'll get, they may or may not be these actual designs, but you'll get a total of 18 of those that we can use for journaling cards and embellishing. You will get nine paper ribbons that are already sewn. I thought this would be nice and quick for you to put together. So they will be nine different patterns um, and three of them will have, um, what are these called? I know what they're called. I'm just tired and I can't think. But these things, eyelets. And um, you will get garment pins and charms or think beads to hang off of those along the side of the book to hang out. So I think that will be really pretty. And then you'll get a little baggie with more goodies. And I'll explain what's in here. You'll get a wooden bird button. And each one will be different. Uh, well, not each one will be different, but... They could vary is what I'm trying to say. You will get a little sticky note booklet. This one has um, leaf stitching on it. Let me see if I can focus in on that. See the leaf stitching? So they'll have leaf stitching. The color may vary, but it's just three pieces of, just three pieces of sticky note um, together that we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I use these in the journal. Let's try to focus again. I'm doing manual focus so that I get a better focus just takes me a second. So you'll get that. And then we're going to be making a doily snippet for the journal. And so you will get a doily and you will get three uh, laces or trims and a button. And we'll be making a doily snippet to put in there. You will also get six Project Life cards and they will vary. These are the ones I'm using in mine. And then you'll get three little doily heart punches and they'll be clipped on with a paper clip that you can use in the journal as well. And then we're going, oh, here's your garment pins. There's three gold garment pins. And then you'll get three either charms or beads. So I have a little uh, triangle charm, a little green wood bead, and a little blue jingle bell. That's what I'll be using, but yours will be different. And then um, two colored paper clips. The color may vary, but I have a green and a blue. And then we're going to be making fabric um, flip outs or tip ins. And you'll get three different pieces of fabric. These are the three fabrics um, that I have, but yours may vary. And then we will get um, three different either laces or trims and three different buttons and we'll be making fabric tippins throughout the journal. So that is everything that comes in the kit. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like what I curated and put together. It was so much fun. Uh, please click the link below and I hope that you have a lovely day. And I also forgot to mention that you are getting Baker's Twine to sew in the signatures and I'll be featuring Baker's Twine from Above Par Crafts. Um, she has amazing junk journal supplies. I'm on her design team. And so I'm going to be using some of her Baker's Twine and we're gonna be using that to sew in the signatures.